This is Born 62, I'm Henrik Jus. Today we'll look at the narrow grip bench press, or in other words, my new best friend. When I first tried this exercise many years ago, I hated it. At that time there wasn't much information around in Denmark about fitness, training, bodybuilding and stuff like that. So once in a while you could get your hands on a magazine and I tried all exercises I could find in this magazine. In the particular magazine, there was someone, I'll not mention the name, giving instructions in the narrow grip bench press. The guy was holding with his hands as, as narrow as this, it was this close, and he was going to the upper part of the chest. And if you look at this, you can see what, happened, what is happening to my wrists. And uh, well, there are several problems with a grip this narrow. First off, you have trouble balancing the bar. When your hands are so close together, even a slight imbalance can cause you to wriggle your wrist, wrists back and forth. Also, when you come down, your wrists are in a very uh, sheer position, to say it, uh, well, in English, and, and um, it hurts. So, I wasn't able to use very much weight. My wrist would hurt every time and I had trouble doing this exercise at all. Recently, I trained with one of my friends and as we were doing regular bench presses, I noticed that he was using a grip much narrower than mine. And I could lift a little more than he could because I have been used to doing bench presses with a very wide grip like this. And of course, if you can do a little math, the bar simply travels a shorter distance with a wider grip, of course you can use more weight as long as you have gotten yourself used to this wide grip. But he was using a much narrower grip and I could see he got much more contraction in his pectorals than I did. I was starting to hmm, wonder should I change my, my way. I'm not doing bench presses to impress anybody and I'm not using that much weight anymore. So. It's done to build muscle, it's not done to compete or to impress people. So maybe a narrow grip would be better. And then I remember the narrow grip bench press and said, hmm, maybe I should try that. And I've done that for a couple of months now and I can see new growth in my pecs. Most people will tell you, oh, the, the narrow grip bench press, that's a triceps builder. But if you contract in the top part, contract your delts, you'll actually, uh, not your delts, your pecs of course, you'll actually also get a good pump there, a good contraction there. So it is a triceps builder, but it's also a pectoral builder. So the way you do it is to use a not so narrow grip like this, and you come down below your chest line and then press up in a kind of very open S, so the bar ends up over your eyes and it travels down here below your pectoral muscles. That way you don't hurt your wrists, that way you can keep the bar under control, and that way you can build your triceps, especially the uh, lateral head here, and you can build your pecs. So let's look at the exercise. Finally, how heavy should you go? In my opinion, there's no limit to that. If it serves you and your muscle wills to go to singles or triples, Please do it, but of course, like always, get into the exercise first if you haven't tried it before. Learn it, uh, master it with lighter weights, and then slowly you can build up with more and more weight. Currently, uh, my first set is around 20 reps. I always use high reps, but that's a, a personal choice of mine. And then I go up around 70, 80 kilos and do 8 to 10 reps, and that's the, the lowest number of reps I do. But that is because that suits my needs now at my age. So if you're used to training heavier, please go ahead. There's no limitations with this exercise. It's not a dangerous exercise. If you go very heavy, you should have a spotter, of course, so you don't end up with a bar stock on your chest and not able to move. But otherwise, this is a safe exercise, so let's see it. Okay, here we go. As you can see, this is a bench for home use, but that's the one I've had for almost 20 years, so it still serves me well. 
I'll grip the bar here. You can see it's not that narrow, but it's pretty narrow compared to a regular bench press. I use the grip pattern on the bar to make sure that I have a balanced grip and I make sure that it rests in the palm of my hand pretty good so I don't have to shift my grip during the exercise, which can be unfortunate. So here we go and we lower the bar under control onto the lower chest line and press it up in a very open S over your face. When I come up, I try to contract my pectoral muscles. And that was it really. I hope you will try out this exercise and do it the right way and not spend time doing it wrong like I did many years ago. I'll see you next week. Have some good workouts. Hi.